Hello and welcome to Good Morning Solent. My name is Ben Shannon. I'm your host for the next 20 minutes of entertainment news. And we're coming to you live from my living room, which has got lots of empty bottles in it, flowers and a catwalk. So it's a very normal student living room. Now, getting up this early isn't my favourite part of the day. It's probably not yours either, but we're going to get through this together. We've got loads of stuff for you over the next 20 minutes. We've got Becca with the local 60 Second News. We've got Joe Watson. He's doing some sports updates for us. We're going to give you some tips and tricks of places to eat and socialise this coming weekend. We've got the latest local fashion stars with Greg. And then later on in the show, we're very lucky to have the director from a new film. It's very upcoming. It's called The Love We Seek. And we'll be talking to Samuel Roffey about that. A lot of you very excited about it, we're hearing. And we also have the singer Gif playing his new single. We've got loads in the show. We want to hear what you think about it. Tweet us, Facebook us, at Good Morning Solent. Let us know. We're going to get started straight away, okay? And we're going to go over for the 60 second update with Becca. How's the weather looking over there, Becca? Ben, the weather is lovely out here. I'm currently at Portsmouth Beach. The main headlines this morning are, a violent prison escapee is believed to be on the run and could be heading towards Southampton. Dean Evans, 36, from Hampshire, absconded from Lay Hill Open Prison near Bristol. It was noted that he went missing at 6pm last Monday. The police have described Evans as too dangerous to approach. In other news, giant rats have been spotted in Southampton and some have been reported to be as big as cats. As recent flooding has caused the rats to flee from their happy rural homes to the city streets where they're having to adapt to survive by eating leftover fast food and rubbish. A recent development would be bad news for late night revellers. Local nightclubs and pubs may be taxed for being open after midnight. This may result in drink prices soaring, or worse, the clubs shutting before midnight. That's your 60 second news update. Back to you, Ben, in the living room. So there we go, massive rats all hanging around, the size of cats, but there is a very high chance they could just be cats and that people have got bad eyesight and they think they're big rats. So next we're going to go for sport, we're going to go over to Joe Watson. What's been happening? Thank you very much. This is what's been happening in the south of England on the sport behalf. Firstly, congratulations to Solent Sports Teams who won an award at the Sports Awards last, we well, last Wednesday and it was hosted by BBC South Sports presenter Tony Husband and included guest speaker Terry Butcher who is a former England footballer winning 77 caps in an amazing 10-year career for the national team. In football news, Sheldon Football Club have won the Wessex League 1 Premier League... Uh, Premier Di uh, can I speak? A Premier Division 1 title with a 1-0 victory against AFC Porchester which sent them to Wembley last Saturday in the FA Vars final against West Auckland. Congratulations to them. It was not only an important game for them being in the final but it's also the last match for manager Dave Diaper who has stepped down as a position from, as the club's chairman and manager saying that Schoening is his life and not just epitomises the 15 years of hard work by him but the other people at the club as well. And Marvin McLean certainly made it a, a game to remember at the National Stadium with his winning goal in the 71st minute. Now with the cricket season getting underway, we are keeping our eyes on the Hampshire Cricket Club this season as they strive for promotion to Division 1. We caught up with Michael Carberry after an early, mon early, morning, early morning training session to talk about his partnership with Kevin Peterson and the Test match against India and his personal aims for the season. Everyone's eyes are on Lewis McManus, who is in his first year of a two-year development contract programme with the club. The first team, he made his first team debut in a friendly against Cardiff UCCE, which saw him score a century. McManus hit 108, 108 off, 100, off 208 balls, hitting 17 falls for the Hampshire club as they began their three-day match against at the Geospell Nursery Ground. It ended with them scoring 838 for eight declared. We took a trip to their training ground to see how they train. You know, for me, it's what it's been for the last 16 years. Basically, is just to you know get runs, have a you know strongest season across all comps. Um, yeah, like, I mean, there's no for me. There's no one better in the country to watch really when they're, when they're in full flow than watching Kevin Peterson bat. Um, I think he's changed a lot of the ideas of batting. Um, he's shown people what you can, you know, what you can do. Um, but like I said, I mean, I hope personally that you know Kevin still is around for a few more years to come because I still think he's got you know some of his best years in front of him. That's all for now. Tune in again next week for some more sports news.
Fantastic. Thank you, Joe. 830 is a hell of a score. It's probably some kind of record. Now, I know we're all a bit tight for money. Uh, student loans don't last as long as we think they do. Uh, so this weekend, there's some amazing deals going on in our area. Uh, and all you have to do is just take a stroll into the high street, find it out for yourself. But if you don't want to do that, we're going to tell you some things now with a little VT and things to tell you about it. So, first of all, if you want a caffeine fix, Jimmy Bean's Gourmet Van is here on Saturdays, offering two hot drinks for the price of one. A wide variety for you to choose from. So you can take like a friend or a date and you just warm yourself up in these spring showers, you know, it's, it's a good thing. There we go, find out about it now. Look at that, prices, it's good, isn't it? I can eat that, it's good. And if you fancy something a bit simpler, okay, there's 50% off all food at the Slug and Lettuce every Monday. So you might just have some food after you've, after you've had your coffee. Van, good. There you go, Slug and Lettuce. It's like I'm psychic, isn't it? No, I knew, I knew it was coming. It's, um, it's two for one on desserts, you just saw that. And it's also on Tuesdays, it's two for one on curries. It's a wide selection to choose from. You cater for all your spicy needs, which sounds like the name of a very odd band. Just a few doors down from that, it's uh, Yates, and there it's one pound pints on a Thursday. Really good atmosphere, costs quid to get in, and it's a great way to quench your thirst or perhaps addiction. And also, with most main meals, uh, you get yourself a free alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverage, uh, and the selection of desserts are two for one. There's loads of stuff going on, look at that. So yeah, if you basically didn't get all what we were saying, all the information, even more information, is on our Facebook page at Good Morning Solent. And uh, keep messaging that, keep messaging Twitter. So we're going to move to now our main event, if you will. We've got film director Samuel Roffey, who has just finished the period drama set in Berlin 1945, surrounding Eva Braun, who struggles to find the love she needs to die with husband Adolf Hitler. So we're going to have a little look at the teaser first of all. Let's roll the teaser. Well, apparently the, uh, apparently the teaser was too good for the TV, so it's actually short-circuited and you've... Oh, oh no. So we're going to ask Sam about it, basically. We're going to find out. Sam, first of all, thank you very much for joining us. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm a big fan of the film. I have two posters of the film in, uh, in this, my, my living room. And they're both on the same wall as well, just so that if I look on this wall, I have a bit of a break. But on there... Good. So first of all, um, it looked very good. Can you tell us a quick review of the film for anyone who's not heard about it? Okay, so, overview of it, kind of. So yeah, so Ava Braun, um, she comes back from Munich to die with her husband Adolf Hitler in the, in the last month um, of the world of World War Two. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, she comes back uh, with the intention to take Hitler away, but obviously that doesn't happen. Um, Hitler tries to get her to stay, and it's sort of her trying to find the love that she needs to to, to die, eventually die with her husband Adolf Hitler. But does it happen? We don't know. So okay. that's sort of what the film entails. What, what was like the, the main inspiration for it then? Why did you decide to, to do that? Um, the main, <laughs> the main inspiration for it. Um, well, yeah, so last year, uh, sort of came up with the idea, um, sort of fascinated with, with with Hitler and sort of that last ten minutes of his life. Mm. Um, so I looked into it and I found a character of Ava Braun, um, and yeah, sort of hid, saw this hidden love story in there. Uh, she was with him for 14 years, and sort of as I did more research, I sort of found this story and I thought, okay, let's build a film in one room, in one setting, in a bunker. And um, so yeah, that was sort of main, mainly the inspiration. And also films like Downfall as well. I mean, that was a, a, a brilliant reference to uh, to to get um, some of our like costumes and stuff mm, from the time just, period. Yeah, kind just of, the time period. Yeah. Of, there's a lot of work already set in yeah. that time period. There so is. obviously it's good to draw inspiration yeah, from that. Of course. You mentioned yeah. there that it's just the one setting as well. Yes. You were telling us about this earlier. It's just the bunker then. For the just the bunker. Minutes, yeah. yeah. And that that was that was the hardest part was trying to write a film in one in one setting. Um, you know, it's it, it was it was tough, and that was probably our biggest. Um, that was our biggest, uh, you know, challenge. sort of challenge, yeah, yeah. because it's keeping the attention span. Well, isn't that's it? it, and you know, it's it, 14 rewrites of the film, and it was so many different things before, and we sort of eventually came to a performance-related uh, film, which Ava sort of centres, and it's all about. Yeah, her, it focuses so. a lot more on yeah. Ava. Um, did you find that a challenge as much as anything, like making sure she was always the the attention of it? Because obviously, Adolf Hitler's quite a Quite a yeah, big but deal I think I think phrase. her character hasn't been really discovered in in films before, mm. and it was nice to sort of have an own take on it. You know, I mean, it is fictional, but you know, sort of my envision of, of Ava yeah, is yeah. you know is how she is in the film. You know, I think she's a woman who sort of has that strength and you know is connected by by love, and that's what she wants. And um, and you know, Hitler obviously 
can't give it to her. So there's obviously two conflicts there, and that creates the drama for the film. So. And how did you find casting uh, the guys you got in the end? Because Cut, obviously yeah. it's very important how they work together. Yeah. Well, we started in um, December. We had 800 applicants because um, we were thinking about doing it in German as well. So we casted both in German and English. Mm. Um, we had someone um, sort of in. We had our auditions in uh, Ealing Studios in January. And then um, we casted someone and they dropped out. So we recasted and found uh, the beautiful Ellie McAlpin, uh, who was absolutely phenomenal. Like, I couldn't ask for two better actors. And Jack McKenzie as well, who was in the original Star Wars um, and in Gandhi as well. So, yeah, it was brilliant. So, um, you know, I couldn't have asked for any better. And better they really actors. adapted to, I mean, you said there, yeah. 14 rewrites for the script. Yeah. And they adapted well to that because it can be quite difficult yeah. taking the script to the yeah. screen. And what was like the main struggle with that then? Um, I think um, the main struggle really was just tr trying to make it all fit in and the, intens the intensity of the actual uh, the film itself. I mean, it's all set. It's, you, get, you get the claustrophobia of the bunker and that's, mm. and that's what you really feel. Um, and also some of the scenes in there as well. I mean, there, are, there is you know, one scene which is sort of shot for a mirror and it's, you know, it's quite horrific to, to sort of look at it. But that was the sort of style that I wanted to do. I wanted to a sort of paced film uh, with you know, brilliant performances and just trying to just trying to get the audience to see the claustrophobia in there and sort of see the, the conflicts that arise between two characters. So, obviously, <coughs> it's a university project, you're following your university, yeah. but what do you see as the future being for this film? Where do you want it to go now as, it's, think, as it's your little yeah, baby kind of thing? I think, um, sort of, you know, over the year, <coughs> within the next year, we sort of want to try and get it to film festivals. Um, that's sort of our main intentions. You know, a lot of work's gone into it's been a year in the making for this film, so uh, that would be you know really nice to sort of just get it out there into the circuit and just to see what people think because you know personally like you know it's hard to write a film about Nazis about love and to see how it's going to be received. But hopefully we've done it in a, in a unique way, mm. which um, you know it which is very can unique. It's to. a very you know I just want yeah. to just say finally basically it's. Are you pleased with how different you've made it from, as we said, about other films yeah. from that era, you know, Downfall, stuff like this, yeah. um, and how it is also very different from other university kind of films? Mm. Overall, obviously, you're pleased with the experience and, and what's come out of it. Yeah, I think, um, you know, our, our film has is, is, is been great. Generally, the production was, was great. The actors were brilliant. And I think all the challenges that we, that we faced, you know, we sort of really overcome. And, um, and, you know, everyone sort of pulled together. And I think what makes our film different is... It is the story, it's sort of the story itself, you know, it's, it's, it's that, you, you don't get personal with Hitler, you don't get personal with him, and that's what we're really trying to do, we're trying to get personal with him, and trying to make his weakness Ava, and Ava is a woman who has strength, and, and builds the strength to eventually sort of um, give Hitler his due, so to speak, so. Fantastic, <laughs> nice you said the term, I quite enjoyed that. Well, it's brilliant, um, thank you very much for, no, for coming in, and telling us all it. about that, and uh, we'll see it, I'm sure we'll see it very soon, when, when are we going to be able to see it? I think, um, well, we're submitting it next, on Monday. And then I think after that, we've got to do colour grading, recolor grading, a new sound mix. So we're hopefully sort of the beginning, beginning of July. That's so one of the um, big deals, isn't it? Editing it and editing yeah, it. And yeah. do you find that because you're trying to kind of uncover this new side of it, mm. you're having to be extra careful with how you edit it to an extent? Yeah, I've, I mean, we, we shot, the, the edit is, is according to the script. I mean, we shot exactly in order what it says in the script, so there's real no changes or anything. So, but the edit has been it's been difficult. But our editor Zoe has been absolutely amazing, and she's really sort of come into herself now. So, um, yeah, we're, look, we're all looking forward to seeing it. Fantastic. Okay. Well, as I say, Sam, thank you very much for coming thank in. You. We're all looking forward to that a hell of a lot. So, we're now going to uh, move on. I'm going to go to Greg with our morning fashion fix. So, Greg, let us know whether we're allowed out the house or not. Today, today we're going to be recreating. A high fashion, a high fashion look. It needs to be rolling. It's not going. But today we're going to be recreating a high fashion look from the shops, from the shops of uh, Southampton by Alexander Wang's Autumn Winter Selection of 2014. I'm your stylist Gregorio, and here is my model Harry. Starting with the T-shirt from River Island, costing 12.99. A plain black T-shirt with uh, two front pockets and a military finish with two buttons on the shoulders. I've added an inspiration that Alexander Wang used on his show. We've replaced a modern blazer to a vintage parka jacket from Beatnik Emporium, which is Southampton's finest. A vintage store costing only £20. The skinny je jeans are from Topman's costing £25, finishing with a pair of vintage lace-up work boots costing £15, also from Beatnik Emporium. I hope you can see that it's not about the brand, but it's about the method. Tune in tomorrow for the ladies' uh, fashion, where I will be recreating a Vivian Westwood look for a tenth of the price. I hope you've enjoyed 
our fashion fix this morning. Back to you, Ben. Fantastic stuff, thanks a lot. Greg, much appreciated. Okay, so unfortunately, we are now coming to the end of our show. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it this morning. I hope you found out a lot of stuff. Uh, it's been very good. We've actually got some tweets in as well. Stacey Cat 123 has tweeted in saying that she can't wait to see the full film of uh, The Love We Seek, which, as we hear, you'll be able to very, very soon. Uh, Raver Sam also had a look at the things we were offering, and he says he loves curries, and he'll definitely be giving the deal a go. So, hey, hey, have your spicy food. Now, I hope you're all ready for the day ahead, whether you're going to work, whether you're going to school, uni, or college. Um, hopefully you're going to have a really good day, and you can join us next time on Good Morning Seldon. But to play us out now, we have a very good friend of mine, fantastically gifted uh, musician. Please give it up for the wonderful GIF.